Australia's Stealth Drone Fleet – A Billion Dollar Bet on AI In an era defined by drone warfare, autonomous targeting, and unmanned systems dominating the modern battlefield, Australia is making one of the boldest bets in its military history. It's a gamble worth more than 1.5 billion Australian dollars, a project that places artificial intelligence, stealth design, and unmanned aerial warfare at the heart of Australia's future air power strategy. The name of the game? The Loyal Wingman, now officially known as the MQ-28 Ghost Bat. This is the story of Australia's stealth drone fleet, a billion-dollar bat on AI, autonomy, and survivability. A leap into the future that could put Australia at the forefront of drone warfare or leave it grappling with complex, expensive tech it can't fully sustain. In 2019, the Royal Australian Air Force, or RAFF, announced it would partner with Boeing Defence Australia to co-develop a new kind of unmanned combat aircraft. The project was ambitious. It wasn't just about drones. It was about developing an AI-enabled stealth drone capable of flying alongside manned aircraft, providing reconnaissance, electronic warfare support, and even lethal firepower. This concept of a loyal wingman wasn't new. The US Air Force had experimented with it through the Skyborg program, but Australia was the first US ally to commit funding and enter full-scale development. Boeing and the Australian government jointly invested 115 million Australian dollars in the initial development phase. Just 12 months later, a prototype rolled off the production line. By 2021, the drone had taken its first flight. Australia called it the MQ-28 Ghost Bat, a name inspired by a native species known for its acute spatial awareness and long-range hunting capabilities. This wasn't just another surveillance drone. The Ghost Bat was designed to be autonomous, modular, and combat-ready. The MQ-28 is a sleek, low-observable drone with a wingspan of about 11.7 meters and a length of 11.5 meters. It has a combat radius of approximately 3,700 kilometers, making it ideal for covering vast distances across the Indo-Pacific region. It can fly at subsonic speeds and is designed to operate as part of a team, accompanying F-35s, EA-18G Growlers, or E-7 Wedgetails on missions ranging from strike to jamming to early warning. The drone is powered by a commercial turbofan engine, modified for low observability and endurance. Its internal weapons bay allows it to carry a variety of payloads, including electronic warfare modules, air-to-air -air or air-to-surface munitions, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, or ISR sensors. But the real innovation is its AI software brain. The Ghost Bat is designed to fly autonomously, navigating dynamic combat environments without direct human control. It can execute coordinated missions, adapt to threats in real time, and even sacrifice itself to protect manned aircraft. Boeing says the AI can be trained with simulated scenarios to make tactical decisions independently. This makes it the first Australian-built aircraft with artificial intelligence at its core. Why would Australia, a middle power with a population of just 26 million, spend over a billion dollars on an AI drone program? Three reasons. One, geography. Australia faces vast maritime territory. From the Indian Ocean to the South Pacific, it must monitor over 10 million square kilometers of sea and airspace. Number two, deterrence. With China expanding its military reach into the South China Sea and Indo-Pacific, Australia sees a need for advanced platforms that can survive in contested environments. 3. Affordability Traditional fighter jets cost upwards of $100 million per unit. The Ghost Bat is estimated to cost between 10 to 20 million Australian dollars per drone. That's a massive savings, especially when manned pilot risk is removed. The drone also reflects a shift in warfare philosophy. Rather than just building more expensive jets, Australia is investing in networked systems where drones, satellites, and fighters work together. In 2022, the Australian government committed an additional 454 million Australian dollars to advance the Ghost Bat project. This brought the total funding to over 1.5 billion Australian dollars, including research, prototyping, and manufacturing. The goal? Deliver an operational fleet by 2025. As of 2024, six test aircraft have been built and flown. 
Production facilities in Queensland are scaling up to deliver full squadrons. This is part of Australia's broader defense strategic review, which calls for investments in cyber, space, drones, and long-range strike. Ghostbat is a centerpiece of this pivot. But it's not without challenges. Critics have flagged uncertainty over AI ethics and legal frameworks, difficulty integrating with existing command and control infrastructure, high costs for sustaining cutting-edge tech. Still, the Australian Defence Force, or ADF, insists the investment is worth it. Defence Minister Richard Marles said in 2023, This is about assuring we have asymmetric options. The ghost bag gives us eyes, reach, and resilience. It multiplies the power of every aircraft it supports. The Ghost Bat has drawn interest beyond Australia. The US Air Force has visited Boeing's production line and flown joint simulation exercises. The UK Royal Air Force, which is developing its own Project Mosquito drone, is collaborating with Australian teams. Japan and India have both sent delegations to study Australia's AI command and control architecture. This makes Ghost Bat not just a drone, but a potential export platform and blueprint for allied autonomous systems. Boeing has stated that a modified export variant could be made available to Five Eyes allies by 2026, pending final operational test results. How does Australia's Ghost Bat compare to other AI-enabled stealth drones? Chapter 6. Ghost Bat vs. Global Rivals So how does the Ghost Bat stack up against other next-generation drones being developed around the world? Let's break it down. First, the Ghost Bat vs. the Kratos Valkyrie, developed in the United States. When it comes to price, Kratos Valkyrie is a more budget-conscious option, with a unit cost of around $3 million US dollars. In comparison, the Ghost Bat is estimated to cost somewhere between 12 and 20 million Australian dollars per unit. That's a significant jump. But there's a reason for that price tag. While both are designed to be loyal wingman platforms, drones that fly alongside and support crewed aircraft, the Ghost Bat offers more advanced features. It has a longer operational range, which is crucial for Australia's vast geographic responsibilities. And it supports modular payloads. That means it can switch between ISR sensors, electronic warfare equipment, and even munitions, depending on the mission. Next, let's look at the Ghost Bat versus the Skyborg program, also from the US. Now, Skyborg isn't actually a drone. It's a software suite. It's an artificial intelligence package designed to be integrated into multiple drone platforms. Ghost Bat, on the other hand, is a full system. It combines its own platform with an AI architecture that was integrated from the ground up. In other words, while Skyborg aims to plug into many airframes, Ghost Bat was built with its AI in mind from day one. Now on to Russia's entrant, the S-70 Okotnik B. This is a much heavier platform. It's larger, it's bulkier, and it trades stealth for payload. But that comes with drawbacks. The Okotnik is less agile, harder to deploy in numbers, and not designed with NATO-style communications or joint force interoperability. The Ghost Bat, in contrast, is smaller, more maneuverable, and designed for swarm deployment if needed. It's also compatible with allied command and control systems, which gives it an edge in coalition operations. Finally, let's compare the Ghost Bat to China's GJ-11 Sharpsword. The Sharpsword appears to be a pure strike drone. It's optimized for attacking high-value targets, likely with a focus on stealth and payload over versatility. The Ghost Bat, by comparison, emphasizes multi-role flexibility. It can perform surveillance, jamming, and strike operations. It also prioritizes interoperability with other allied platforms, giving it a much broader strategic role. So while Australia's Ghost Bat isn't the cheapest or the most heavily armed drone out there, it may very well be the most adaptable especially for nations looking to field advanced unmanned capabilities as part of a broader defense network. Overall, Ghost Bat's true competitive edge is in AI integration, modularity, and allied cooperation. It is not the cheapest, nor the most heavily armed, but it may be the most adaptable. By 2025, the RAAF aims to stand up its first operational Ghost Bat unit, which will likely integrate with the number 36 or number 2 squadrons depending on their mission alignment. Where will these drones be deployed? The most likely staging points include RAAF Base Tyndall in the Northern Territory, within reach of Southeast Asia in the Pacific, and RAAF Base Amberley, 
which serves as a logistics and command hub for advanced air operations. The Ghost Bat could play a pivotal role in high-risk ISR missions over contested waters in the South China Sea, saturation strikes where swarms of drones overwhelm enemy radar systems, suppression of enemy air defense, or SEAD, by acting as decoys or jammers for manned jets. In a 2023 RAND Corporation report, analysts wrote, the Ghost Bat represents the next frontier of manned-unmanned teaming. It allows small air forces to multiply their effectiveness without exponentially growing personnel or risk exposure. Additionally, Australian Air Marshal Rob Chipman stated, Ghost Bat will give us the ability to punch above our weight. It's about being able to fly into the teeth of modern air defenses and come back smarter each time. These drones can be pre-programmed to act as forward observers, identify radar signatures, and even serve as sensor nodes in long-range missile detection grids. Future iterations may include drone-on-drone -drone combat capabilities, where ghost bats can intercept hostile UVAs without human input. According to Boeing's Director of Air Power Teaming, Glenn Ferguson, what we're building isn't just a drone, it's a thinking, learning, cooperative teammate that evolves with every mission. So is the ghost bat worth the money? At 1.5 billion Australian dollars in climbing, it's not cheap, but traditional fighters cost more. The F-35A, Australia's primary fighter, is over 100 million Australian dollars per aircraft. The Ghost Bat offers a cheaper, disposable, autonomous companion that increases survivability for manned jets. And it's not just about savings, it's about shaping the battlefield. If Australia can build a scalable fleet of AI-enabled, stealth-capable drones that plug into its existing infrastructure, it will have a powerful deterrent in the Indo-Pacific. As regional threats grow, Ghost Bat is a bet that the future of warfare won't be fought by lone pilots in expensive cockpits, but by teams of manned and unmanned systems working together across a network of AI-driven autonomy. In the years ahead, this project will either stand as a landmark innovation in Australian defense or serve as a costly reminder that sometimes the future doesn't arrive fast enough. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments. Will Ghost Bat change the future of air combat? Or is it too expensive, too risky, too ambitious for a country of Australia's size? Hit like, subscribe, and tune in for more deep dives into the world's most daring defense projects.